For latest astrology video subscribe astrodify channel and press this bell icon to get notified when a new video goes live. Hello everybody welcome to astrodify today we are going to discuss about moon in Leo. What happens when moon is in the sign of Leo in anyone's horoscope. So let's start this video. If you want to book a consultation for yourself, you can go on this website. The link is given in the description section. So today we are going to discuss about moon in Leo. First of all, let's uh, talk about moon. What is moon? See, actually moon represents our mind, emotions, feelings, our mental disposition, how we think, our thought process, our thinking is controlled by moon. Moon is a watery planet. It controls the whole water content in the body, which is nearly 65% approximately. So moon is extremely important planet when it comes to uh, the functioning of the horoscope in general it act as one of the pillars of the horoscope uh, which determines the strength of the horoscope okay so lagna lagna lord moon uh, uh, and uh, Hora Lord. These are the pillars of the horoscope which uh, through which we determine that how the uh, strength of the horoscope is whether it is good or bad okay so moon is one of them and moon is the only planet which has the capability to negate any auspicious yogas because it reduces the efficiency if it is bad. So moon is extremely important. Apart from this, moon controls uh, our childhood. It represents our childhood, our moral values specifically which we uh, learn from our family, our parents, our mother. It also shows uh, care, nourishment and homely environment and uh, it is the natural correct planet for mother. Uh, it controls our heart, blood circulation, and uh, uh, apart from this, moon is uh, moon is a fast planet, so it also shows travels. Okay, so these are the things what moon represents. Now let's talk about what is Leo. See, Leo is the natural zodiac sign of the fifth house according to Kalpurush Kundali, and its uh, lord is Sun. So it has the mixed qualities of both the fifth house as well as Sun, and it is a fiery sign, so it controls fire. So what do you mean by fire? It shows energy. So it is energy, stamina, dedication, willpower, aggression. That is what Leo sign is. Leo sign is a sign of ambition. It mainly it is a very ambitious sign. Why? Because sun is its controller. Then it shows leadership skills, administrative skills, dominance. Okay, dominance, uh, uh, boldness, firmness. It is the zodiac sign for sports also it shows ego self-respect confidence and uh, it is the sign of authority power politics okay government is seen through uh, leo father also because who is the lord of this sign that is son son is your father so it shows father as well leo sign also controls our heart so this is what leo is now let's talk about what happens when moon goes into this sign see the results which we are going to talk about today, they are generalized results because everyone's personality is different. And since we are talking about moon, moon determines our personality because it is our thinking process, thought process, which is different in every human being. It is our unique identity. So we cannot discuss each and every combination. It's impossible. But what could be the general results that we are going to see today and actually the determination of moon is very difficult because how you how the moon is going to act that is very very necessary uh, in order to judge first thing which we see we must see is the placement of the moon in any anyone's horoscope okay so how moon is placed that that shows the strength of the horoscope as well as the person's thinking okay uh, so here when moon is in Leo, we are going to talk about all the parameters, uh, what could be the possible results if moon is well placed or if moon is badly placed, what happens then? So both the aspects we are going to cover. So first of all, let's uh, discuss what happens when moon is positively placed. Okay. So if moon is in Leo, the first thing which we can see here is that since it is in the sign of ambitions and sun is our ambitions. Okay. Moon is desires. Ambitions increase a lot in person's at, uh, uh, in person's personality. Okay, it makes person quite ambitious, very ambitious in nature. M moon is your desires, what you want in life. Sun is about your career first, and also your ambitions. So it makes person quite ambitious. Uh, other characteristics could be like stubbornness. 
dominant attitude very headstrong means good will power will be there independent attitude will be there moon in leo wants independence okay these people are very bold they do not uh, back down ever and they are very dominant in attitude they no one can suppress them even if they are wrong they will not accept that is the thing okay so moon uh, in leo gives such kind of attitude that okay i i am uh, because what is sun sun is king and what is the nature of the king king says i am never wrong and since you are beneath me you will have to accept what i say so this kind of attitude moon provides here so increases the ego okay and it depends that how the level of ego is going to be whether it is going to be very high or very low ego will be there it is not like that ego will be zero it is not possible until and unless moon and moon and sun are totally destroyed then only that can happen if they have at least some strength ego will uh, never be zero here okay self respect will be the top priority in their lives okay because it is zodiac sign of leo as well as sun both of them shows self respect so uh, that is also very top priority uh, makes person quite confident if specifically if sun is well placed definitely uh, makes person quite confident not over confident confident then it also makes person quite dedicated in approach these people they if they, because they are ambitious and if sun is well placed mean moon is also strong then what happens they have dedication also means they are not just ambitious they are doing the work to achieve their ambitions not like they just thinking and not doing anything they do the work on the ground as well so that they can achieve what they finally want so makes person dedicated as well uh and gives uh, boldness and firmness in attitude means risk taking capability is also there okay next thing which we can see here is that sun is the natural significator of our career and since moon is now enhancing the ambitions in person so ambitious attitude means more focus on career career orientedness could be there will be there most of the times so it, it is there that people are more career oriented however ambition is a general term you can have personal ambitions also not only related to career it could they could be related to some other aspects of life as well but whether you are going to achieve them or not that depends on the placement of sun and mars because of your will power and confidence so mainly most of the times most of the people have ambitions related to their professional life and career so it makes person quite career oriented in nature uh, also it makes person quite authority and power seeking okay for these people uh, the mentality is such like that they want authority and power in life means position and status is more important rather than money and wealth however it is not like that they don't do not want money and wealth they want that but that is at their second priority means they they do not have that uh, they do not have business minded approach for a businessman money is everything but for a person who seeks authority and position and power for that person that uh, position is more important rather than money and wealth like politicians like administrative officers they ha- they do not have that huge salaries okay in many people in private sector they earn more than them but the amount of power and authority that they have with them by sitting at those positions of high authority in our country in any other country in the world makes them more powerful as compared to those people who are earning more than them so here what mentality is going to be there to seek power and authority rather than money and wealth that is second next thing if moon is here and sun is well placed it gives good decision making power means capability to make decisions is good and since that is good leadership and administrative skills are already well means they have that good administrative and leadership skills in order to lead next thing it also makes person quite optimistic in approach they are not pessimistic they are bold they have risk taking capability and they never back down never back down uh, good thing is here that however they are short tempered no doubt because this is a fiery sign but 
this is the same attitude we can find it in moon in aries but the difference the bigger difference here is that moon in aries is very headstrong means he uh, uh, there the moon is in a lot of fire and which is uncontrolled fire this fire is controlled sun's fire is still controllable so here short tempered attitude could be there but these people will not be harsh in speech like that okay they they never back down but they do their work more efficiently they will do uh, everything in order to achieve what they want but in a more subtle and specifically efficient manner rather than moon and aries that is the difference here both are fire signs but still there is a great difference so they are not very straightforward like moon in aries moon in aries is very straightforward moon in leo not that much that is why they have good administrative and managerial and leadership skills because you need to be diplomatic in approach as well and you have to be authoritative at the same time so this is a good position for that next thing which we can see here is that for these people public image and status is very important okay uh, because as i said they enjoy and they love authority and for them public image is more important very important so public reputation image status for them this is an an, an important part of their life or they work for it they work for it in order to earn it okay they desire they work it is not like that they are only desiring and not working that also happens we, when it happens i will tell you but mainly if sun is supporting this they will work constructively for this okay next thing here is that we said ambition is a very important part of their life moon is what your emotional stability and mental peace so how moon is going to get its mental peace how that mind is going to get its mental peace and uh, emotional stability by fulfillment of ambitions of course okay so ambition overpowers every other aspect of life for them it ambition could be anything i am just using it as a general term it could be anything like you want to be a doctor so you will do no matter what to become a doctor let's say you want to become a teacher you will do no matter what to become a teacher every other aspect of life is subdued by this ambition and they continuously and incessantly follow it no matter what and they will follow only when sun is strong otherwise it will not happen because sun is your willpower moon is not your willpower so emotional stability and mental peace and satisfaction comes when their ambition and goals are fulfilled okay uh, what they wanted to achieve they achieved then they get this next thing this placement of moon is favorable for working in government services administrative services managerial jobs jobs acquiring any sort of leadership skills team effort or uh, politics is seen through this ministry ministerial jobs are good for this education sector and sports is very favorable for moon in leo okay uh, so moon in leo uh, you have to see other combinations of course just by seeing this moon in leo you cannot judge these uh, professions in total if other combinations uh, are saying yes and moon is here it will be favorable of course now next thing here is that these are the results which we talked when moon is favorable means moon is strong and sun is supporting it but what happens when sun is not supporting the moon sun himself is not well placed it is debilitated it is uh, sitting in bad positions and moon at the same time is afflicted either both of them are ruined or either one of them is ruined so what happen what first thing what happens is that moon loses the power because moon loses the support specifically if sun is weak moon is afflicted moon becomes a moon is a very sensitive planet as i told so moon now is feeling all the heat all the malefic effect from all the planets so if it is afflicted by mars rahu ketu saturn and sitting in bad uh, houses destroyed in uh, navansha chart again in means in d9 also it is in bad signs with bad planets in uh, malefic houses then moon loses the power and sun support if not there then what will happen first of all ambitions will be there because it is sitting in the same sign of leo so ambitions are going to be there but the problem will be that the fulfillment of ambition will be hindered because the, there will be a drastic loss in willpower so willpower will be lost so what will happen 
ambitions are there but you are not able to work for them you just think okay i i want to become this but i don't want to work for this that's what happen here so if ambitions are there they are hindered and they are not fulfilled what happens the by product of this frustration increases irritation increases anger problems start to happen this placement of moon in leo and specifically if sun is also not good is an it gives an easy affinity to bp and heart problems many cases i have seen easy affinity to bp and heart problems blood disorders blood circulation problems stomach problems eye problems brain related issues uh, specifically uh, brain hemorrhage or strokes can be seen but i am not telling you these things to so, so as to instill fear in you i am just telling in order so that you could learn and main thing each and every of these conditions you cannot just judge by moon uh, in leo and sun not supporting at or of moon is afflicted of course it shows that yes there could be some problems but actually to pinpoint what could be the problem you have to see other combinations and divisional charts not just by seeing this two placements that will be very immature of you next thing is that lots of ambitions will be there when let's say if sun is uh, uh, sun is supporting means sun is well placed means like let's say sun is exalted for example okay means sun is good sun is in a uh, very favorable sign uh, but moon is afflicted means moon is not well placed in navansha also and in lagna chart also it is afflicted in bad houses with bad planets what happens then so if this is the scenario then ambitions will be very high means lots of ambitions but the person will uh do anything to fulfill his ambition and most of the time they follow the wrong paths in order to fulfill their ambitions okay so that path will not be proper that path will be illegal that path could be bad that path will definitely be wrong and specifically if jupiter is also bad this will definitely happen so lots of ambitions but fulfillment of ambitions through wrong paths that could happen if moon is badly placed jupiter not supporting and sun is sun is strong next thing it increases ego a lot and this will be a falsified ego it can even make a person ego maniac specifically if sun and rahu are together definitely so this could be one thing over confidence will be there too much confidence over confidence in own self bad relationship with parents could happen okay uh, because moon is your mother leo is your father so bad relationship with parents could happen if moon and sun are not supporting but if both are well placed definitely very good relationship with parents will be there both mother and father will have a very positive influence on the person means person will learn a lot from his parents and uh, person will respect their parents also okay truly so uh, if, when it will happen when they are both good if bad then relationship suffers see the houses as well 4000 4, 9000 also but in general this could happen so these are the uh, things uh, which can happen if moon is not well placed so see these things in general and moon condition uh should be studied with the uh, proper uh, care okay with proper detail because it is very important when it comes to the analysis of the horoscope in general so these are the general results what moon gives when it is in the sign of leo okay so uh, apart from this one other thing is that uh, moon here in leo is in various nakshatras these nakshatra placement also creates difference i have made already the videos in nakshatra series you can go and watch this on here in playlist so see here uh, how moon is functioning in various nakshatras in uh, the zodiac sign of leo okay so watch those videos there in more detail so this is what happens when moon is here in the zodiac sign so if you are new to my channel subscribe below for more check on my web, uh, website and facebook page otherwise we will meet in the next video till then goodbye and thank